Hey guys, welcome back to Top Dog Tips. My name is Samantha and today I want to teach you about choosing the right size kennel for your dog. There are a lot of options out there. We kind of have a medium sized kennel and then a really large kennel. Uh, the larger one's for our chocolate lab, Sadie, and the smaller one is for our little beagle up there, Molly. Um, you can find kennels smaller than this, you can find kennels bigger than this one, and you can find them in many different styles. The style itself is really going to depend on your dog. We choose these uh, metal wire kennels. They're sturdy. Um, these ones collapse. They fold flat so they're easy to travel with if you need that. Um, but they're not the best. The bars can be bent um, and if your dog really struggles to get out they can kind of collapse in. Um, on a dog that's struggling to get out. So if you have a dog with separation anxiety, if you have a chewer, um, things like that, these aren't going to be the best option, but they make other forms and styles of kennels. Some of them are like a plastic box that's um, pretty much completely contained. There's some holes for ventilation and stuff, um, but the dog can't see out as much. There are some really sturdy metal kennels for dogs that are escape artists. Uh, they have soft-sided kennels. If you have an older dog that you're really just kind of looking for him to have a place um, of his own to go and sleep, maybe get away from uh, young children or other animals in your home. You know, a nice comfy soft kennel. Uh, they're great for traveling first of all and second of all they make a really nice comfy little layer for your dog um, if that's all you need. So this type that you choose is really going to depend on what your needs are, what you're going to be using it for, and of course your dog. Um, but today we want to talk about the size and I, as I mentioned you know you can get really small kennels if you have a little toy uh, breed or uh, larger kennels if you have like a St. Bernard or a Great Dane you're going to want something even bigger than this one. So uh, size needs to be a factor and what you want to make sure is that your dog can stand up comfortably, not head bent and crouched all over, but stand up comfortably, be able to turn around and be able to lay down without having to you know, fold their paws all and kind of be curled up in a little ball. So. Um, Depending on your dog size, like our Beagle Molly um, goes in this one, as I mentioned, she can stand up, her head comes to right about the top of it, um, there she has room to turn around, she has room to lay down, but you don't want to give them a lot of extra space. Um, our dogs are kennel trained, but especially if you're using the kennel in the beginning to kennel train your dog, if they have a large space, say for example we put our little Beagle in this kennel, she can go to the bathroom and make a mess back here, and then she can come up front and sleep in the front part of the kennel. So that's going to be really hard to kennel train your dog if they have space to, to kind of separate um, any mess that they make from themselves. It's a lot easier and they won't go if they are going in where, a spot where they're going to lay down. So you want it to be the right size um, in that aspect. It's important that the kennel is not too big, but it's also important that the kennel is not too small. If you take a dog like Sadie and put her in a kennel any smaller than this, She's not going to have room to stand comfortably, to turn around, to lay down. When you're gone for long periods of time, and even if you're only gone for a couple of hours, think how you would feel if you were sitting in a position where your knees were all scrunched up and your arms were all scrunched up for hours. It's going to be really hard on your dog's body and it's really going to be difficult for him. So you want to make sure that you get a kennel that um, he can stand up comfortably, turn around, lie down, no bigger, no smaller. Um, and another thing, see, come here. Sorry. Another thing you want to think about when you're buying a kennel is that it's going to grow with your puppy. Now this kennel that we got for Sadie, um, when we first bought it, it came with a divider and it was just, it looked exactly like this, the metal wires, and it went right down. Um, you could hook them onto these side things. So it could go right down the middle, you could move it to the back as the dog grew, and then you could, obviously now that Sadie's full grown, we've completely gotten rid of it. Um, so you want to think about that. If you buy, say, a kennel this size for a Labrador puppy, you're going to need to buy a kennel, another kennel again in, in a couple of months when they've outgrown this one. So it, that's going to get very costly for you. Um, you should buy a large kennel that's going to be the right size for the adult dog and then make sure that you find one with the dividers so that that kennel can grow with your puppy. And there are a ton of different options out there um, for kennels that grow with puppies. So keep that in mind. If you guys have any questions about how to choose the right size kennel for your dog, be sure to send me an email, samantha at topdogtips.com. And of course, if there are any uh, videos that you're looking for that don't have crazy dogs in them, uh, be sure to send me any suggestions of videos that you are looking for. Um, and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel or find us on Facebook. You'll be kept up to date with all the videos that I post. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time.